Hey guys, welcome back to episode 1 of Minecraft Factions on pvp.thearchon.net. So yeah guys, what we're actually going to be playing on today is Aqua. So pretty much what just happened guys, Aqua did reset, so I think this is going to be our best time to jump on, maybe get a fresh start, stuff like that. But yeah guys, that kind of leads me into my next kind of thing. I don't think I'm going to be playing on Ruby too much anymore, like we might jump on sometimes, but really guys, I find that Aqua is a lot funner. And the reason for that guys, is because really for me, it's just really more a laid back series. You don't really have to do too much stuff about that, but, and, I don't know guys, it's just sort of a better series for me. I'm probably going to be able to get in, into a ton more PvP battles, really, just because what they did add on uh, Aqua is called Mob Battle. So pretty much what Mob Battle is, guys, if you kill a mob or just anything like that, you have a chance, or at least they have a chance of dropping something called a mob coin. And pretty much as you get more mob coins, you can buy better stuff like armor, I don't even know, like god apples, stuff like that. And you can even buy like bedrock, sea eggs, everything like that. I don't know what you can really do with the beacon. I think it's just like a normal beacon. But yeah, guys, that's probably what it is. That's probably one of my favorite things about it. Another cool thing is, guys, is that really it's more like a player server. You know, if you have any input... Just like tell the admins and they might even add it in like that's pr some pretty cool stuff they usually take polls and stuff like that so i feel like it's more like i don't know it's just got sort of a better server to play on guys I, I hope you guys kind of understand that we I'm, we might play on uh, Ruby sometimes but really guys i think more times than none we will be playing on uh aqua so yeah that's pretty cool and they might even add in um the ability to transfer ranks to here because i do know guys that if we do slash transfer chrome actually just did retire so pretty much we did have a 50 dollars rank on that we didn't even have to pay any money it was just really through uh in-game balance that we actually got that rank but yeah guys that's pretty sick but they will have to add that. I don't know if they will, guys. That's going to be pretty cool. We're definitely going to have to check that out. But, guys, if they do, that's going to be a huge head start for us. Will help us out a lot. But, yeah, that's going to be pretty sick, guys. So, I think what we're really going to want to do for this season, maybe join a bigger faction. But, maybe for now, guys, we're probably just going to go set up a small base, just like we always do. Maybe a small sugar cane farm. I don't even think TNT is enabled, because, literally, I think it's only been, like, one day since the uh, server restarted. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty sick. We already did get a few things... Uh, I don't know, some people already dropped us some stuff, so yeah. What we did get, get guys, is this Polar Bear Sword. Pretty OP, grind 3, definitely going to be able to get a ton of levels with that. That's pretty sick. And we actually did get this P4 chest plate. So that's pretty much from the mob battle, because um, you can actually get P4 and Breaking 3 from uh, just... Just kind of grinding out mobs, so that's pretty cool, guys. And we did get this Fire Spec 2 sword, nothing too good. But still, guys, that will definitely give us a huge head start. And yeah, guys, I'm just really pumped up for this season. I think we're going to be playing this more um, than Ruby, as I said. But yeah, guys, let's actually go jump into the episode. Maybe get a few stuff done for today. That's going to be pretty sick. Maybe get, like, sort of, I don't know, just um, really my goal is just to get a full P4 set for today, guys. Maybe a uh, spawner. That's going to be pretty sick, guys. But yeah, let's actually go do that right now, guys. I'm going to be right back as soon as I do. Okay guys, so I pretty much just did slash wild and we pretty much came up into this, uh, what is it? It's kind of like a temple. I've already actually mined down a bit, but I think what we're going to do guys is actually check this out. Hopefully we don't hit the uh, pressure plate. We didn't this time and okay guys, there's actually some stuff. This thing has not been raided yet. So yeah, we might actually be able to get a bit of stuff off this. It's going to be pretty cool and real, okay, let's see. Oh guys, that's actually pretty sick. We already got a pretty OP book. We might actually be able to put that on some of our stuff because that's actually pretty good. But yeah, let's actually grab all this TNT. I do believe that TNT is disabled right now let's actually check this out i think we're going to be able to check it out pretty easily let's actually just go like this because if it is disabled guys that's going to be so much easier making a base like we're not going to really have to stress over making one really quick but really guys we should be able to figure this out pretty quick. okay yeah so it is actually disabled so we literally can't place any explosives no explosives can be uh i don't even know they can't even be like triggered or something like that so that's pretty sick guys let's just grab all this stuff though so yeah we're actually already starting off with a pretty good start I already got a bit of tnt we're probably gonna go look around for a bit longer trying to find a bit more stuff but yeah guys let's go do that right now maybe we can find a, some some other stuff that's gonna be pretty sick but yeah i'm gonna be right back guys if we do Okay, guys, so I think I pretty much found a spot where, where we're actually going to just set up our base for now. Now, if you guys, like, have any, uh, I'm just going to say ideas about names for our faction, definitely leave it down in the description. Because, like, I know that we've been using strikers a lot, and I don't know, guys, I, I don't really want to be using strikers all the time. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that down in the description. What do you guys think that our uh, faction name should be? So, yeah, definitely leave that down, guys. And I might actually choose your uh, comment for one of the names. But, yeah, guys, just for now, we're just going to do slash F create. Uh, I don't even know, like, no name, I guess. Let's just do that, guys. That, that should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, just like that. There we go, guys. We just created a faction called No Name. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, let's actually just set up all this, guys. We're just going to wait for all the sugarcane to grow. And then maybe we can even try to buy a spawner after that, guys. Try to get as much money 
money as we can for this episode. Just because really guys, if we can get a lot of money this episode, that's going to give us so much more stuff that we can do next episode. But yeah guys, let's actually just keep on grinding up all this sugar cane. And yeah guys, I'm going to be right back as soon as we get enough money. Okay guys, so I just actually learned about a pretty cool, I'm not going to say glitch, but maybe exploit. So yeah guys, pretty much what you want to do, if you want to get free mob coins, pretty much what you, what you want to do is find a ra randomly uh, generated uh, mob and you pretty much just kill it. Squids are the best ones. And there we go guys, we actually just got one mob coin. Let's see if we can get any more mob coins from these. Because yeah guys, this is super simple. I actually just learned about this and okay. Oh wow, we actually got another mob coin. Here we go. Oh, we might actually drown guys, but here we go. I don't think we're going to drown, but yeah, let's actually just go back up to the surface and look at all the squid spawning like literally guys this is probably one of the easiest ways to getting mob coins is probably just by killing mobs and guys literally we are getting so lucky right now we are killing so many mobs and getting so many mob coins from them uh let's see this guy's actually just like kind of swimming away from me which is it's kind of annoying but we are eventually going to get him so here we go let okay yeah here we go guys let's actually try to kill him right now and let's see if we get another mob coin and there we go guys we now have five mob coins guys if we keep this up for just a while longer we might be able to get some pretty op stuff but yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, sort of like a little update on the farm guys we've actually been doing a ton of stuff now and as you guys can see literally like look at this is just like one of the biggest farms I've probably created actually probably not actually I've probably created bigger ones but yeah let's actually get sort of like an aerial view from this I think it's actually looking pretty nice we still have to do all of the um what are those lily pads but guys look at how big this is these are 64 blocks long so yeah guys we should be able to get a ton of money from this I'm probably going to be grinding it out just uh, just just for a while and then we probably are gonna invest all of our money into spawners probably like skelly spawners are probably gonna be pretty pretty good and then we might even be able to get some p4 and like I don't even know some pretty good weapons this uh this uh what is it kind of episode guys that'd be pretty sick if we could but yeah let's actually just keep on going guys sell a bit of this sugar can and yeah I'm gonna be right back guys as soon as we do okay guys so we've pretty much been grinding out a ton of sugar can right now like as we can check guys look at two dubs about two and a half full dubs just over about two and a half full dubs so yeah guys that's gonna be pretty cool i'm probably expecting to make about 50 to sixty thousand dollars that'd be pretty sick but yeah guys literally our shirt cane farm is so op like literally look at it at it guys like it is so huge like i think it's got like 13 rows and each row has about two sets of 64 i do believe so yeah guys it's, it's pretty sick i'm actually planning on putting a whole nother row that's gonna be pretty sick if we can do that guys but yeah let's actually go sell all that guys and they're probably gonna probably invest all that money into say uh probably some skelly spawners probably just buy them off some of people but yeah guys let's actually go do this right now sell them all at warp bulk i wish that there was actually a uh two times money seller but i guess there isn't so i guess we're going to do without but maybe sometime if there is guys we will make a ton of bank off this so yeah let's actually go sell these all right now guys and we'll be right back as soon as we do that okay guys so we're pretty much on our very last inventory of uh sugar can so yeah let's actually sell this right now guys here we go let's sell it there we go uh fourteen thousand dollars extra i actually forgot to check my balance at the very beginning but i think only at somewhere like around a thousand dollars so let's actually check it right now guys let's see and 50 about fifty eight thousand dollars guys round up to about sixty thousand guys that is so sick we're definitely gonna be able to get a lot of spawners let's actually check ah right now i don't know if there is any good prices thirty five thousand that's pretty expensive i'm looking for more around say i don't even know like eighteen thousand maybe twenty thousand but it, okay wait what, what are these okay cave spiders zombies okay zombie spawners actually don't sell for too much so that's actually we might want to invest some of our money into those but yeah let's actually just check because i want to try to get one of the best uh I don't even know, like spawners for mob balance, that'd be pretty sick, $170,000, that's kind of overpriced. Oh wait, skelly spawner, oh wait, okay, that's a zombie spawner. So yeah, we might have to ask around, maybe see how much they sell in a uh, shop, something like that. But yeah, let's actually try to buy a few of these skelly spawners or something like that, I don't know. We're just going to have to pick up some type of spawner. But yeah, let's actually look around, guys, see if we can't get anything like that. And yeah, guys, I'm going to be right back if we can uh, buy anything. Okay, guys, so we pretty much just made a small spot to uh, place all the spawners and all that, all the skelly spawners that we literally just bought. So yeah, let's actually go place these right now guys. We actually build a pretty big area So that's pretty cool guys. It will definitely make it so that we can uh, place a ton of spawners in here and get a ton of mob bell But here we go guys. Let's actually start placing. I think we're gonna probably try to place one right here I think that's probably gonna be the best then maybe another one right beside or, or just something like that So yeah, I think let's just place a two down just to make sure that these things do spawn and okay There's one let's actually place this one uh, two blocks over the same and then here we go guys Let's just go just like that guys. They are both uh, skelly spawners and they should start spawning a ton of skeletons so yeah let's actually go right back down there guys and let's actually start grinding off some of these skeletons see if they do give us a ton of mob bell i actually don't know if skeletons do give you mob balance so we're definitely gonna have to test that out if anything guys they, st they do still give us uh xp which is actually pretty good so yeah let's actually just mine off
right off all that. There is going to be a bit of water, but here we go, guys. Let's actually start grinding these skeletons off and see if they do give us anything. Now, I don't know how lucky you have to be for uh, them to actually drop um, uh, coins, but I do believe that they do eventually do drop them, so that's pretty cool, guys. So yeah, let's actually go grind off a bit of uh, mob balance and everything like that, and just like XP, and maybe we can actually go do an enchantment. I do have that grind three sword, so I'm probably going to go off and grab that. But yeah, guys, I actually want to show you that, guys, this is a, this is actually looking pretty cool. It's pretty much just right outside of our uh, sugarcane farm. It's looking pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, we actually put all this glass. I don't even know why. Really, it's just a uh, spawner. But yeah, it's actually pretty big, guys. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, let's actually go and uh, grind off a few more of these. Grab our... Uh, I think it's our grind three sword and maybe even try to get some mob balance. It's going to be pretty cool. I haven't actually been grabbing it from these, so I don't know if they do drop it. We're definitely going to test that out, though. Hopefully, they do drop it and we didn't just, like, waste 40k. But if anything, guys, we will get XP from them, so it's really not a waste anyways. But, yeah, let's go grab our sword, maybe grind off a few more of these, and, guys, let's see how uh, high level we can get. Okay guys, so there we go, we actually just got a mob coin from a skeleton, it did take a few kills, but we did, we are starting to get them, which is pretty sick, so yeah guys, that's actually pretty cool, we are at level 10, but I think we need to get to level 30, I do believe, so yeah, we did grab our uh, grind 3 sword guys, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to grind out a few levels, but yeah, that it's not going to take too long, so yeah, let's keep on grinding guys, and try to get to level 30. Okay guys, so we're actually just about to reach level 30, so yeah, let's actually kill all these skeletons just to get to level 30. And we've actually been getting a bit of mob balance from this too. I think we've gotten about, uh, let's actually check. I think we got about like, okay, how do I spell mob balance? Oh god. Here we go, there we go. So yeah, we actually have 12 mob balance. We're probably going to be grinding that out between episodes, trying to get a P4 and breaking 3 set, or maybe even some god apples. So yeah, let's actually go to slash warp enchant, or actually I guess it's slash warp enchant, or actually I don't even know how to get there. Let's just go to slash spawn and then let's just run there. But yeah guys, let's actually see what we can get, because a level 30, I think that's going to be the best tier 3 book that we can get. I, I believe that's the best books that we can get. So yeah, let's actually run over here. I believe... I believe you just have to run this way. It's it's not too hard, but yeah, let's actually just go over here right now, guys. This is probably going to wrap up the end of the episode, too, but let's see if we can't get anything good. Okay, not that way. Okay, that's kind of uh, annoying, but oh, well, I think it's this way now. Well, there's actually only four ways, so eventually we have to get it. So yeah, let's keep on going. It definitely has to be this way, though, because I don't remember it being in there. I think actually that's a shop right there, which is pretty sick. But yeah, let's actually just run over there. This is taking such a long time, but well, let's keep on going. And okay, yeah. Yeah, so there it is, guys. It definitely has to be over there. And, oh, yeah, the, there's a place where you can actually spend your mob balance, too, if you guys are actually wondering. And, oh, can we actually loot scoop this? Oh, there we go, guys. We almost just loot scooped that. But, oh, well. Here we go, guys. Ready? Let's do this. Let's jump. And then let's kind of shift. And there we go, guys. Let's see. Grind three. What? Gr guys. Guys, that's, like... Is it actually worth $100,000? Because, like, usually grind three is worth $100,000. But maybe in this, guys, it might be uh, worth just a little bit less. $15,000, okay, not the best, but, okay, guys, so we still made a bit of money off it, not too much, though, I'd actually like to know what speed 3 is, I think it's actually just speed, but, I don't know, but, yeah, let's actually keep on going, guys, I think this is gonna wrap it up, though, because, like, I don't know, guys, we, we've been doing so much stuff today, and literally this episode has taken such a long time to make, but, oh, well, guys, that's still pretty good, but, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode, definitely go down and smash that like button, and if you guys are new, definitely go down and subscribe, guys. It would mean a lot to me. But yeah, if you actually have any uh, ideas about what we should do with this series, definitely put it down in the comments. And I will try to read them, guys. And I might actually choose one of you guys' comments, so that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, guys, for now, this is going to wrap it up. This is Kodak Gaming signing off. Peace, guys.